I ask you, obviously you're disappointed to lose the game, but has tonight's game given you an idea of the, the scale of the job that you have to do before Slovakia and further than that in order to change the culture? No, no, not really. I think, um, you know, we always knew, you know, you couldn't change everything overnight, but I think, listen, I was experimental in the two games, I think you will agree. I think um, we wanted to do better results-wise, for sure, in the two games, like I can't deny that. Um, <coughs> but I can't say I was just looking to the long term, because that wouldn't be true either. I think, you know, I've been looking towards Slovakia next month, and really, overall, didn't think our attacking options, you know, previously I haven't looked at, said that we need to we need to see exactly what attacking options we have and a midfield options for for the game against uh, Slovakia. So we've looked at quite a few players and, um, you know, so it's been, the games are not friendlies, they're, they're Nations League games, so you don't, uh, we don't take them lightly. We want to win, and I think. Um, but that's 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 the way it is. That's the way it is, you know. Well, we Brady said that um, we've got some fixing to do. What's, what's the biggest, most significant fix necessary? You think? Uh, listen, I think when you look at the f games in the Nations League, Wales scored an injury trying to beat Bulgaria today. They scored a late goal to beat Finland. We got late equalizers against Bulgaria. The games have either been one all or one nil. I think we've probably created five good chances, so we just need to. We didn't f maybe three good ones and three half chances, maybe. But I think you know we we um, we needed to be um, we need to finish better than we did. You know that's. I think the goals taking your taking your chances is absolutely critical. Changes the shape the. You know, it changes the game, you know, and I think Aaron Connolly, two good chances at least. Dave McGoldrick actually had two chances coming on. Callum Robinson, a great chance. Shane Duffy's header was a much better chance than the one he scored um, last week. So, a lot of, uh, lot of chances, a few, few shots, and a few, um, you know, so we had other, other uh, half chances as well. But I think, um, I, th I, th I think, I think overall, um, to get the players are in pre-season, you know, you could see it today. Like, you know, I think the midfield were pretty tired. I probably needed to make if I had five subs, I'd have made two changes in the midfield and given them fresh legs. You know, I think um, the teams have been playing. I know they don't all play in Finland, or, but the majority, um, you know, the, the leagues are in, have been going on a while as well. So match fitness is a factor. I think in the two games, I think in a month's time would be a lot better. I think uh, the players found it the 90 minutes a tough. 90 minutes, you know. I think at, at this stage, uh, because they haven't played the league game yet, I think um, uh, I think you know some things have some you know there's been I don't want to say some positives, but I think. There has been some really good signs from certain players that, you know, you know, uh, merits the idea of of uh, of blood and players for this and having a look at players with next month in mind. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I think we'll, we'll only know that after the game. You know, Slovakia are a good team. Um, obviously, a uh, pretty good team. I know they got beaten there the other night, but they were missing quite a lot of players. Um, you know, that wouldn't represent their team, I wouldn't feel. Um, so it would be, be a big challenge. We always knew that going out there to win. But I think we'll be a lot better 
you know, in a month's time than we are now. And the players have played, um, you know, have played four weeks of football. And I think we'll be a lot better. And uh, we'll have a clear idea of a clear idea, you know, we'll have a clear idea what, what exactly we require. And, uh, you know, so it's been, it's been great to have those two games, to be honest. Um, you know, it's been great to have the, the games. Um, well, I think we've probably had different attacking players today. You know, to be fair, over the last two games we've blooded, you know, three players have had their first start really in in Ireland. That's Aaron Connolly, Adam Ida, and obviously Jason Monumbi today. I think um, um, you know, so probably probably uh, Aaron probably did better in Bulgaria, you know, with his performance. And Adam did better tonight, probably, you know. So it's interesting to see, you know. I thought Adam, Adam led the line quite well and showed a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, speed. And, uh, you know, he's, he'll get better, I feel. So, so he's a lot to give and, you know, he has very, very good attributes. Paul? No, I, I don't. I, I don't think the back four. I don't think it's been exceptional for a few years. We lost four one to Wales or whatever, you know. So I don't think you know that's fair to say. But I think, uh, um, I think, the, you know, individually, I think the balance of the back four, and it's been a strong part of the campaign, because obviously we were, we were set up in such a way as well to to uh, to you know. To protect the back four as well, you know that kind of way. But I do think that uh, um, I've no I've no qualms about the back four. Like I thought they all played well, and uh, obviously we got done early on. Pookie's chance, uh, that Darren made a good save. That was the real one where we got done. The goal itself is disappointing one to concede, because that was the period when we were actually on top in the game. I felt I felt that was the period we were on top. So I couldn't believe, you know, obviously the substitute score was first touch, um, you know, was uh, was was was, was uh, disappointing to say the least. Yeah. Sorry, Gavin, and then Ken. Hey, yeah, no, just one question. Stephen, would you consider changing the formation for that game in Slovakia, or is it pretty to work for It's an interesting question. Like, I'm not ready to. A I'm not ready to anything. You know, I'm not ready to anything, but. I think uh, we'll review everything and, and, and analyse that. I think uh, um, we, you know, obviously I'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah, you rule it out. I couldn't rule anything out. No, I'm not wedded to one particular system as a manager. You know, um, you know that's that's, that's uh, try and look at the characteristics of the players and see what would maximise uh, the talent in the team. That's the way I sort it. Look to do it. Ken and then Neil. Yeah, Stephen, obviously the changes you made today were all concentrated in one area of the team. Um, was that something that you'd always um, planned to do this week, or was it a reaction to the to the previous game? No, it certainly wasn't a reaction to the previous game. I think James McCarthy um, played an hour <coughs> the other night, and um, you have to manage James. You know, for him not to play a game for a while with his injury history and to rush him into, into two games in three days. It's just, it's, it, you know, and particularly these games where you can only make three substitutions and you just, you have to manage him in, in relation to uh, his load for sure, you know, at this stage of the season. We have to look at Slovakia in that regard. So give me an opportunity to look at Harry Arthur in that position. Uh, and it was a big plus, really. I thought he was very good tonight. Um, he hasn't always played that position as the holder, so he's only really recently learned it. 
and uh, at Fulham, you know, and I think uh, I was, he did did quite well. I felt um, so. The um, sorry, can the question again? Well, I was just wondering if it was. A uh, the, I think I think with Jeff Hendrick, that Jeff that was Jeff's first game uh, in six months. In you know, probably six months apart from his start with an hour with Newcastle last week. So uh, he got, got through a tough 90 minutes. And it's credit to Jeff that he kept himself in impeccable condition because he's, you know, he's supremely fit. Um, I think uh, we wanted to, ha you know, we wanted to give up with Connor as well. Connor um, played well the other night and, yeah, and he keeps himself really in good condition. But we wanted to have a look at Robbie Brady as well. On the left of the three, because um, the dynamic changes. Like if you, um, obviously, Conor Hurham plays left of a three. He's connected to the centre of midfield. You know, in a way that your right side of the player has to play higher, because he'd have different characteristics to Robbie Brady. Well, if Robbie Brady's playing on the left, we can push him higher and to. You know, play the right side a little bit narrower, and he can interchange with the idea, the concept of that he interchange with Aaron Connolly, who can make diagonal runs behind the striker, and that space on the left becomes a, a bit of a haven for Robbie because he can use his pace to from go from in to out, and also put crosses in that position and key passes. You know, so I think that's sort of the idea. But like, he's not played that much football, Robbie. You know, to be fair, and. Uh, He's been, a, he's been a plus for us as well, though. I think he's done well coming on to you tonight and doing well and did a lot of good things today. And his attitude is absolutely excellent. So he, he's, he has been a plus for us. You know, and I think the dilemma now is how, how much football the players get at their clubs over the next four weeks. Um, a lot of them are not guaranteed their place. So that's, um, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So Neil and then Daniel, and then we're going to have to head off, I'm afraid. So Neil... Um, I think uh, it's not so much moving it quickly, more quickly. Like I think you're trying to develop tempos within the rhythm of the game. Like uh, you know, you have to keep possession and then know when to inject tempo. And sometimes that can be off, where you're keeping keeping the you're keeping possession and then it's it's set for a force time pass with players running off and that injects the tempo into the game and we're still sort of working on that. I think, you know, I think, um, um, listen, I think if you want me to analyse the game, the first 20 minutes, I thought we found it hard to, we, we took us a while to adapt to their system of 3-5-2 and that. they were getting that diagonal switch to their wing backs and it was causing us a problem uh, early on and they got a chance from that. I think once we adapted, and then they did brilliantly, and the Stevens then shuffling over and cutting that diagonal pass out. Um, once we did that, we sort of did well for long spells, but just obviously uh, without creating clear cut chances in that first half. Second half, we were actually forcing errors, getting on top, if you like, and had a lot of chances. Close shots as well, Callum O'Dowda, Harry Arthur. Um, you know, as well as um, as well as the chances that we created, um, and in that period they scored. And when they scored, it sort of knocked us a little bit. And then they they had a spell where they were on top then, and um, we seemed to run our legs a bit in midfield. Then ideally, I'd like to make a change there, but just to give us that fresh impetus. Um, the um, but. Um, we kept going and um, we had some good, some good chances, and uh, we just didn't didn't capitalise on them, you know.